So in this tutorial, we're going to do what's required to get our character initially set up. Now the first thing to do is decide which character we want to use. If I open BP Move It character, it is an extremely minimal character. It just has the basic inputs and it's got a follow camera, a third person camera, and it has a view component. So if you open this up and everything, especially Sprint, has a warning, that means you don't have the Move It inputs. So come to Edit, Project Settings, Input, and if these don't exist, then go to the Move It wiki and open Default Move It Input file. It's near the top of the navigation pane, and it will give you instructions on how to use it as well as provide a download link. Now, there is an example character, which has a lot more set up, which will allow you to preview your character easier. So if I use the example character, you can see that I can pull out weapons, I can change game modes, but if I just use the default character, then none of that is available. And this is a better starting point for most games. What the example character gives you will only work in single player. That's just an example of what can be accomplished. Alternatively, you can just make your own character, inheriting my character. Just note that if you use a demo character, there are additional things that need setting up, such as the sockets or the weapons. So for this example, we're just going to use BP Move It character because it's got the bare minimum to get started. So I'm going to copy that. We don't want to modify the default one. And this is just going to be for race. So I'm going to call it BP Move It Wraith. And we'll assign it to our game mode. So I've pulled out the assets that we need to work with. So if I open up Wraith Skeleton, we need to add some virtual bones. So from the upper arm to the lower arm, and then for the right side, and then from the thigh to the calf, then for the right side. Now the names are very important. This follows Unreal's naming scheme, which means our animation graph will automatically fill it in for us. If you do have to rename it to this, don't type VB because it will fill it in for you. So now if we come to the head, we go add socket. This is called I underscore level. We want to position this where the character's eyes would be. And then we need two more sockets for the footsteps. So if you come to foot L, here we go add socket, footstep underscore L. Position this where you would like a footstep particle to spawn from when he takes a step. Same for the other side. So if you're on version 2.2 or later, you're going to need another two foot sockets. It's going to be called foot IK center R. And we're just going to move it down to the very bottom of the foot and to the center of the foot. We're going to zero on Z, copy the location. Do the same for the left side. Put IK center L. And paste that, transform, and just invert the values here. Now it's in the same location symmetrically. We'll just save that. So the other thing is you want to make sure that this IK setup here exists. 
If it doesn't, you can follow the tutorial that's in the description for adding phones, or you can do it in a 3D program yourself.